Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verses are coming from Galatians chapter five, verses 22 and 23 and Ecclesiastes chapter seven, verse eight. It reads as follows, but the fruit of the spirit is self-control. The end of a matter is better than its beginning. Impatience is better than pride. Some time ago when I was a young adult, I developed some not so great things in my physicality that I've had to deal with since then. I have food allergies which really sucks. One my mom mentioned me having when I was a baby, but I guess as I kind of got out of that infant stage and you know got into the toddler kid stage, I developed a resistance to it. I was fine with it and it just sort of went away. However, it did come back as I became an adult along with another and I've had to deal with both in some sort of fashion since that time. There are certain things that I just can't eat or I will get really sick. At first it was a big hassle and an inconvenience and I just kind of, you know, was tempted to think, okay, God, why did you let this happen? And why am I dealing with this? And this just kind of seems unfair. Just, it's not fun. And it just kind of stinks. But I got rid of the self pity and I adapted to take care of myself to be the healthiest version of me. And it's funny because I can honestly say after having dealt with it for such a long time that I'm actually kind of not sorry it happened. I'm not kind of upset anymore that I have to deal with it. It has helped me in so many ways. Yes, in ways in which you know, I don't eat food so I don't get sick and I don't, you know, kind of put my body kind of you know, in that position, but also it's helped me in a lot of other ways. In a way, it's sort of set up these barriers for me, you know, in a way that I probably would not have set up for myself if I didn't have to, because I can't eat certain foods. I don't. <laughs> I mean, that kind of sounds obvious, but in a way it sort of developed unexpectedly self-control. When I first started dealing with it, I just kind of thought, you know, oh, this is unfair. You know, when I would, you know, be at places or get togethers and people could eat certain things that I couldn't eat or be at restaurants and they wouldn't have options for me, I would kind of think, okay, this, you know, this is a hassle. This is not fair. You know, I was sort of tempted to sort of fall into that self-pity, but I like good food. So I learned to cook. And by God's grace, you know, I've learned to cook in such a way that I can cook amazing dishes, you know, kind of with different ingredients. I can still like make these, you know, just amazing dishes by God's grace, you know, in a way that I can eat them. When I deal with the same things now, honestly, I don't even really get tempted. I have, you know, developed and grown in such a way where it's easy to sort of say no to foods that aren't good for me, that are going to harm my body. Saying no to foods has helped me say no to other things. It's kind of weighing sort of the same option options where, okay, I could eat that and it would be absolutely amazing, but it would harm me in such a way that it's honestly just not worth it. Okay. I could do that thing that, you know, kind of sin, that vice, that thing that seems very appealing, but I know it would hurt me in such a way that it probably just wouldn't be worth it. And I'm not at the end of it, like our verse says, but I'm not at the beginning. So I've had the chance, I've had the process to see how this, you know, sort of trial, this suffering has developed certain things in me that I'm almost happy it happened because of who it's made me become. I'm patient with the process that I have to go through rather than maybe slightly prideful that, oh yeah, I can do it whatever I want and eat whatever I want whenever I want to. Me suffering through this food trial has produced perseverance. I still have to eat. <laughs> you still have to eat to live. So, and I like good food. So I've had to figure that out. I've had to grow in that area. The perseverance of not giving up in this trial of not just kind of, you know, succumbing to it has produced character. I'm more creative. I'm more patient with the process. I learned to, you know, cook really well, cook other foods really well. That character produced hope. I trust God. I know for some reason, okay, if he's allowed this thing, it must be for my good. I have seen the good out of this thing. The same principles that I apply to kind of, you know, my relationship with food, I apply to other relationships, other situations as well. So I've been able to kind of exercise that self-control when needed in other areas. Friends, some of the trials that we face, if we let them can yield the biggest blessings for us if we allow God to walk us through those things and bring us to the other side. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you, God, that yes, you know, even though some things that we face in life, God, 
they kind of aren't fair, God, and they don't seem right, God. And it isn't, you know, what we would want or what we would choose, Lord. But you say all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord, who are called according to your purpose, God. And we're called according to your purpose, God. So we can trust, Lord, that if you allow certain things in our lives, not that you sent them, Lord, but because we live in this world and we will all have to deal with things. But if you allow certain things, Lord, we can trust that you will make good out of it, God. You will bring good out of that thing, Lord, even if it's really difficult, even if it's not fun, God, you are good and you will make it good, God. We trust you, God. We trust you with our lives. We trust you with the process. We thank you, God, that you will take us through to the other side for every single trial and suffering and situation that we face, Lord. And you will, Lord, by your awesome grace, make us better because of it, God, and allow us to help people in the process. We love you, God. We honor you and we bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. I would appreciate it. And I would love to have you guys. You guys have a great day. God loves you so much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. I will see you next time and God bless you.